G'day guys, welcome back. Take two with the Bloom Recipe Hair Dryer. Um, this is not the same pour, I didn't scrape it. This is just another older canvas that I'm trying to use up some of my old canvases. Right, uh, now I'm not gonna go through everything again. You can just watch the previous video to this one and see where I went wrong, really. Um, my cell enhancer was a bit thin and it all sunk. And I think I had way too much paint as well. So, going again with a little bit less of the coloured paint. This is just my pillow paint. This is just a white in um, interior low sheen house paint. Easy peasy. So that's what that is. But yeah, if you want to see what was in my, my recipe, just watch the video prior to this one. And um, we'll go again. I think I've got a little, there's a little bit left of that cell enhancer. Activator. I keep calling it enhancer and I've done it a few times and now I just keep doing it. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'm going to try and keep my little bottles as clean as possible because it's a pain to get this pillow paint off them. Right, here we go. Oh, I've got the wrong lid on you. Fix them up real quick. Got the wrong lids, there we go. Had to make up some more paint. Righto, this is the navy. go navy and then this one is Josonia's natural red light they're all Josonia's and I've mixed them with my pouring medium I'm just trying to make my stripes a little bit wider rather than put the paint on top of the other paint I'm going to see if I can kind of make them wider I'm having trouble when I blow my white. I'm blowing all the white that way. Right, and this is that same naphthol red with some yellow to lighten it. And then my turquoise, which is a phthalo blue and aqua and some mixing white not zinc white it's mixing white which is not opaque all right here we go i haven't got much white left i think i need more white this time i better leave some because it sinks still sinking doesn't matter I'm just gonna get straight to it and try and only get half of the white try and figure out where my white is okay I kind of went straight down then trying to work out where my white was hopefully it won't all sink again maybe my colors underneath are a little bit too thin maybe that's the problem Cockatoo, did you hear the cockatoo screeching? It's probably
be angry with me because I'm not feeding him, but I'm in here, so too bad, so sad. Righto, I'm just going to give that a minute to kind of all come back in again because I can see it's kind of dipped a little bit where I've blown with the hairdryer. So we'll pop a little bit of paint on the corners here while it's just waiting to come back into the middle, all that paint. Oh, he's still being loud, isn't he? Can you hear him? Oh, there he goes. Off in disgust because I haven't fed him. Just going to bring that down a touch just to wet the canvas. Hopefully make it a bit easier for the paint to flow over. Hopefully it won't be too muddy. These colours are notorious for making mud, but I love them. They're my favourites. may have to actually, if this doesn't work, I may have to mix up my colours a little bit thicker. Does everyone else's cell activator sink on top of the, the paints or is it just mine? Mm, let me know what you think. So that most of it I really like. This bit in here that didn't get any white over it. Yeah, can't do much about that. Hopefully, once everything starts getting tilted, he won't be so obvious. Right, let's see if the paint's going to move. That middle section's not wanting to move yet, uh, which is going to be a problem. I had such a thick pillow, this bit here, it's it's, I think, almost touching the canvas. It's not going to want to move. See, the rest of it's moving and it's not. So that can be a real problem. I'm just going to keep doing this a little bit, see if I can just loosen it up a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's not moving at all. Nope. All right, I'm just going to go for it. over to that corner and I'll turn it around so you can see I'm going to go for this other corner because the weight of the paint's all here at the moment so it makes sense to go to that opposite corner and back to the middle And we'll go down the canvas, take the weight of the paint down a little bit, and I can change direction and head for that bottom corner. Again, a lot of paint on the surface. All right, now we'll go off to that bottom corner there. And I'll have a look at it and see where else I want to maybe stretch things out a little bit. Try and bring it back to the middle if I can. Give it a little bit more of a stretch here and there. I want to really try and stretch that middle out a bit more. Okay, that's enough. Now 
back the other way. So it can take quite a while to stretch. You know, the paint's quite thick, the pillow's really quite thick. I just want to get some of that paint off the bottom there. Just go straight down. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, that's about it. And back to the middle. Okay. Um, it's quite muddy again. really know if I like it or not. I mean, I like the middle. I wonder what would happen if I made all, for this particular, like for the blower, um, make everything a lot thinner so it all just moves easier. I think maybe that's what I need to do because these last two just have not worked with my paints being so thick. So I think that's probably the next thing that I need to do. Because there's some parts on here that are really pretty, but most of it's um, not really, not really pretty. Let's see what it looks like from up here. Hmm, no, it's not very good, is it? <clears throat> Alright, I'll have a think about it. And uh, see what we can come up with. Might have to thin everything out to more like a Dutch pool type. Not that thin, but maybe that's what we need to do if we're going to use a hairdryer. Hmm. All right, I'll have a think about it. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with my little boo-boo here today. It just hasn't worked. I mean, the middle's pretty, but um, that's about all. <laughs> all right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.